Hey up me ducks. Happy uh, Christmas Eve. Hope everyone's kind of ready. It's nice that the moronic is intelligent enough to uh, let us have Christmas Eve. Eh? Because that's how viruses work. They're smart. So, um, one of the tribe did a video on, uh, on dog food. I just wanted to expand on that. Um, to try and make your, your dog food go further. So, this is what we do. They have either rice or pasta, one third. Kibbles or wet food, one third. And then one third porridge. So, if you can get that in three equal measurements... So either, either plus one third. That's what we give our dogs. And you can, you can see your face in their coats. I mean, you, you get to see them in most of the videos. You know, they're a full bill of health. So essentially what you'll be doing is saving two tins of this by subsidizing it with porridge and either rice or pasta. So I hope that makes sense. If you've got any, any questions, let me know. They also get a cod liver oil pill every morning. And they get a good glug of fresh garlic infused extra virgin olive oil. So and when that runs out, I make a fresh batch of crushed fresh uh, um, garlic and put it in the olive oil. Give it a good shake before I give it them every single time. So there's one other thing I, I was gonna try and cover as well uh, to do with, with prepping. So I hope people, I hope you do try this. You might need to do it in stages because you, you, you know, you, some people are, are, gonna, are gonna say, well, my, my dog, a bit funny, you know. Bit, bit funny yeah it's just because it's spoiled that's all you can introduce this very slowly now some dogs are going to have problems with gluten okay um also your kibbles even though it's dry food it's not going to last as long as your tin food it's your tin food that you that you need to be conserving um this is good for probably a year dog food it's the same as your tin food that you've got prepped and st stashed away so another thing i was going to cover is this this stuff here you know these pretty little sunflowers that they've got on the front makes it look so sellable <clears throat> but the processes that this stuff's been through with extreme temperatures makes it it actually makes it quite bad for you so it's unbelievably processed and it's a massive, massive money spinner. Um, I'm going to put a few videos that you might be interested in um, in the description box. So there have been studies, um, but these studies have been a, just a little tiny bit suspiciously inconclusive for my liking. But my gut and my and common sense would tell you that this is highly processed based on the videos that I'm going to put in the uh, description box. So rather than still buy this in because it's it's a, a good backup fat for cooking, but it's got an even better use as far as I'm concerned, and that's making candles out of it. So you basically, and I'll put a video in the description box again for this. So you just get a, an old jar, an old jam jar, anything you've got lying around. Fill it up, nine tenths or, or maybe, you know, three quarters full uh, of salt. And then make a wick. You can make a wick from old clothing. You want to stick to cotton. Make sure you cut it the right way. Bury the wick. Into the, you'll see the video. I'll put the video on for you. 
where you can make candles out of this and I think that, that making candles out of this stuff is way better than using it for cooking and consumption so instead and a lot of old school people you know people you know approaching retirement age and plus will tell you that there was always always lard in the house always now lard's lard you know it may not have come from the happiest animal on the planet but it's still going to be significantly better for you than that unless you're you know morbidly obese and if you're morbid, morbidly obese you need to sort your shit out because you need to get fit at least a lot fitter than you are if you're obese so not meaning to offend anyone but honestly sort your shit out <laughs> so i've got loads and loads of lard and it just needs to be kept in a cool place cool dark place that's it so it's something about this this study stated that this is quite difficult for your for your body to it's something to do with the oxygenating in in a in, in order to enable you to absorb that into your body so it can actually shorten your life yet with lard depending on your health you know if you're average it's fine it's perfect um it can increase your your chances of a heart attack but these studies stated that people who just had lard had a longer life. And, but this can shorten your life. Like I said, I'll put these studies in, or, or what I can find anyway, uh, into the description box. So I hope you found this video a little bit, um, a little bit useful. Because I think it's incredible information. I'll do another video tomorrow just to wish everyone uh, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm, I'm glad we're having a normal Christmas. I would have had one anyway. And I know most of you guys would as well. And I think uh, Boris the Muppet Puppet um, knew that it, the backlash would have been, you know, it wouldn't have been containable. But there you go. So, Merry Christmas. Much love to all of you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.